local farmers say they are losing out on millions of dollars to crimes on agricultural land. Some say they also fear for lives due to poachers and trespassers. Now this comes as a Makaha rancher lost his life this month on his own property. Chrissy Tamashiro reports. Acres of vandalized crops, tractors stolen, and cattle killed. All among the concerns being voiced to lawmakers by ranchers and farmers across the state. The latest tragedy, Cranston Pia, who was killed on his Makaha ranch after getting into a confrontation with trespassers. Ranchers say they've been bringing up concerns over trespassing and poaching for years. No, there's nothing for his wife and his kids. Who's going to be held accountable? It fell to the cracks. It's not just illegal hunting and trespassing. According to the Hawaii Farm Bureau, farmers and ranchers are dealing with $14.4 million in losses due to agland crimes and spending over $11 million on security equipment like fencing, security guards and cameras. Hawaii Island is seeing the brunt of the impacts. I don't think there's a farmer and rancher out there that hasn't had some type of agricultural crime impact their operations. The Department of Agriculture says part of the issue is difficulty in reporting agland crimes, which requires a full laundry list of information before you can submit a report. We need something like just evidence. This is my farm. I have a picture of somebody stealing. Go get them. Some of the solutions being brought to the table include making it easier for farmers to report agland crime and increasing law enforcement. Currently, the Department of Law Enforcement doesn't investigate agland crimes, but says it's willing to. There's also a Senate bill making progress, which would create a position in the prosecutor's office to investigate agland crimes specifically. Chrissy Tom Shiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.